Hello guys, welcome to the new video. In this video, I want to compare the Acer US iPen to the Lenovo one and also the Penovo one. I will try to shortly talk about the hardware, then I will try to write it on the different uh, like note-taking application like Squid and also the NoteShop. I will also show one issue that this pen has and in the end of this video I will also show the table and also show my favorite pen from all of these. I also reviewed in the past the HP USI pen but I don't have it right now here. So hope you guys will enjoy this video and as always don't forget to subscribe. Hardware here. In the last video I already talked about this point. It's also well built pen. It feels also premium in the hand and it has one extra feature with this button so you can hold it for a few seconds i would say and then you can start writing it's not a bluetooth but it's just a wake up button i prefer that this didn't exist i prefer the other pens like the penovo and the lenovo one and also hp one which they don't have this button because it's not like that you can press and start writing you have to hold it a few seconds so i found it a little bit annoying maybe it will help to preserve some battery long term but i prefer not to have it and one thing about the pen tip you guys can see it also in the picture here you can see that how sharp it is and how so it has some i would say like more friction and when you write it you feel that also so it's nice feeling but this pen tip has one issue which i will talk about later but compared to the other pens, I would say it's well built than the Lenovo one. The Lenovo one feels like the cheapest, but it's still as a, how it looks like and how it feels, I like the Lenovo pen here. So before we continue with the software part and also the writing experience, one important thing is also about is the pen tip here. You guys clearly see in this picture the differences between the pen tips. And I showed this picture also to some other people and they all said that, okay, the Penovo one will perform better and looks like more stable and also sharp pen tip. And clearly, in my opinion, it's also so. When I start to write with these pens, I feel like the Penovo one uh, like delivers the best writing experience. Although the Acer one is sharper, you guys clearly see that. But this sharpness also has some like uh, negative parts, which I will show later. So let's just start with the Acer US iPen here. I have here the Note Shelf app open, which is actually my current favorite application to write. Let's just start writing. Let's see, now it should work. There's one big problem with this pen is that the where you feel that you're writing is not actually the right place. I will show it in another video how what I mean like that. So I'm tr trying to make the line on top of this line here, but you guys clearly see that there's a problem here. That the I feel like I'm touching this line now, but it's actually is slightly like lower than that line. So that's a little bit the issue that I have with this Acer US iPen that the accuracy of the pen tip and the where you want to write is a little bit not correct. And this would be a serious issue if you want to do drawing and painting. Maybe for handwriting will be not that much issue. Test. This is a some USI pen. So I will save it handwriting this will not cause that much issue but when you're trying to paint it's important where the pen tip is touching so you need a little bit more accuracy and this pen is missing that let me show it also right with the lenovo one i can i have now the lenovo usi pen Uh, this pen i don't like that this pen anymore after i tried other pens this pen feels worse for me i don't like the pen tip here it's a little bit too round in the beginning i didn't have other pens so it was okay to use this but now that i tried other pens i know that it's not that good now it comes my favorite pen the penovo pen with the best pen tip that i think it has I 
I like this pen. This is a pen. This is a Pinoval pen. And I like how it feels actually. And exactly it's right way I am intending to do. So it's really important. So where I'm pressing is where is the it's registered as a touch point, as a like input point. Now I have this Autodesk sketchbook open. Now I will try to use the pressure sensitivity and see how it will work. I have the Acer USI pen first. I will hold it a bit tilted, press it, a little bit lifted, press it. I did it also in the last video to see how it works. This works also decent. Now I have the Lenovo USI pen. This is the worst one for this Pressure sensitivity, I will say. Now I have the Penovo USI pen. Because of this, uh, like, uh, thinner pen tip, you guys clearly see that you can also register a little bit better, I will say, with the um, Acer USI pen if you want to make, like, thin drawings. But as I said before, this has one big issue. The where I think that I am pressing is actually not the is not registered, so it's like slightly shifted. I will show it in the next video what I exactly mean by that. So now I have the squid application here open. I have the Asa USI pen. Now I'm trying. I have it a little bit tilted. Now I'm trying to draw. You guys clearly see that there's a shift between when the pen tip is pressing and when it is registered. That's the issue that I have with this pen, which gives the feeling that it's not accurate. Let me try that with the Penovo pen, which is actually my favorite pen. You guys clearly now see the difference. I have still the tilted, and you guys clearly see that when I am putting it, exactly that's the way it's registered. And that's really important if you want to draw. And also the writing, it makes a little bit difference. With the Lenovo USI pen, Still, it's also a little bit shifted, but it's not as worse. But this pen also has some issues. You guys clearly see that in the tilted position, it doesn't work properly. In the last video, I also prepared this table. I showed it the differences between the Lenovo USI pen HP and the Penovo one. In this video, I will also I also added the Acer one to see that in the table that's easy to follow. For you guys also to see which pen offers better features and also which pen is the best pen as the ranking that i made but this is also my personal opinion you guys can see that asa usi pen here it has this extra feature which is the wake up button it has also extra one pen tip in the box it doesn't have this pen tip like a remover that's a bit of shame i would say I also rated it, it's also 19 grams, so it's also similar to the Pinoval one, and also the dimension is also same to the Pinoval one. The, so when you hold them in your hand, they feel both feel premium. It's also more premium than the Lenovo one, both of them, but I like this black and the cleanness of the Pinovo one. Now let's go to the ranking part. In Germany, the Acer USI pen also costs uh, 50 euro. And Penoval one also 50 euro. As a design, in my opinion, Penoval has the best design. Then Acer one is also good. I like it. It's better than HP one. For me, HP one felt a little bit too cheap. Also because maybe it's too light, maybe 10 gram. That's maybe causing that. As a feature, HP has more features. It has this magnetic stripe. Also, it has a battery integrator. And the Penoval one, I think it's better because it has also this like um, removal for the pen tips, this metal part that you can also clipper, I would say, to take out the pen tip. This Acer one has this wake up button, but in my opinion, it's useless. I prefer that it didn't exist. Writing experience, and also one point, I tried also to see if I can use this like button to do other options, like an eraser or something, but you cannot do that in this squid application for for example i went to the settings to see that if i can give different function to this button but it didn't work so back to the writing experience i think Penovo one is the best hp one also was better than acer one 
and A sub one is still better than the Lenovo one, although it has this uh, like input problem, I, I would say, but it's mainly for drawing, I would say that feature is the more important. For me, best pen is still the Penoval one. It offers the best feature, also as a cost performance is the best one. So if you want to get a like best pen right now, US iPen, in my opinion, Penoval one is the best one. So I will say, don't waste your money on other pens and get the Penoval one. So that was it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope to see you guys in the next one.